grams are wet flour Two red beans, onion, oil, sugar and celery This is my tasty cooking show Half a day and happy holidays. This is Lieutenant Lou Marie Chu. I am assigned to Joint Region Marianas and I'm here with Lisa Tisdale, CMC for Joint Region Marianas. Hi. Hi, happy holidays. We wanted to share a very special dish that's near and dear to my heart. It's a traditional Filipino dish called kare kare. It is made out of a peanut butter base. So if you love peanut butter, this is the dish for you. So we make these on special occasions as a family growing up and my husband loves this dish and I like to make it for him for his birthday and special occasions so this is for him. Uh, so kare kare, it's kind of like a language background for like curry but it's not exactly the Indian curry type. So kare kare has uh, what we call oxtail traditionally. It's, um, it's, you can find it in the supermarket in the frozen section or in the meat section. We have fresh vegetables, green beans. You want to make sure you chop off the ends and then take about an inch at a time to two inches, however long you want them. Um, for the eggplants, I cut them in half and then chop them up. And baby bok choy, it's a Chinese cabbage. So you want to make sure you cut the, the end off and then just separate them and make sure everything is washed very well. We also make the sauce, like I said, is out of peanut butter, a chote, which is aneto seed, and then onion and garlic. That sounds delicious. Let's get it started. Okay. Yes. So the first thing you want to do, cut up half an onion and you want to mince this. Minced garlic is put in there. Put in a little bit of vegetable oil so that it can simmer and the flavors can come out. We're going to boil the oxtail because this takes about three to four hours depending on how large they are and also how like soft you want the meat to be. So I like to do this overnight. Uh, so that you don't have to rush them in the morning or the next day to do it. We're gonna start preparing the vegetables while the meat is tenderizing. So we want to start with the vegetable that takes usually a little longer to blanch than the other ones. So um, eggplant takes a little longer because it's a little thicker. So I want to start blanching those first. So you want to time about five minutes. Do each vegetable separately? Yes. Okay. Because each of them takes a different you know time to cook. Color should get a little brighter. So nice and green. This is the baby bok choy. This takes, doesn't take a lot of time at all. As soon as you put it in, you want to take it out maybe 30 seconds. Okay, so this has actually been cooking for four and a half hours. And um, Master Chief over here is going to take the big chunky pieces of oxtail and put it into this beautiful plate. Uh, so that's ready to get plated. So that's what you do that. my favorite part. Yes. Right there we go. So this is the achote powder. It's the anato seed I was telling you about. Interestingly enough, that I learned when I moved here to Guam, this is what they use to make chamorro red rice, and that's the color that they use. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I like to put it in before the peanut butter, so we don't get chunky pieces of anato seed powder. And you want to stir it at the same time. Stir it grab. at the same time. I yeah. can do just that. Just grab and stir at the same time. So if you never had a chote, it's kind of like a nutty, mild, sweet flavor, but it also makes any dish brighter, red, orange. And this is the fun part. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so traditionally, you know, when this is first made in the Philippines, I'm sure they took the peanuts and they grinded it down and they made it super fine. Uh, modern life, mom life, right? <laughs> Working mom life, I don't know. <laughs> you can find this in the supermarket. This is um, super creamy peanut butter. And this is a 40 ounce size can. Uh, the recipe only, you know, you put in like 20 ounces, but we love peanut butter, so we usually use the almost the entire thing. So this is about more than half. The more the better. Yeah, so we'll just scoop that in there, and again, I'll scoop it in okay, and you, you stir. Scoop, yes. Yeah, it's teamwork. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yeah. Kind of look like a little bit of like peanut butter, but you can tell it's dissolving. Yeah, and then yeah. again, you, as soon as it dissolves, you can put more achote. So this is how you know that the, the sauce has gotten a little thicker, is when you put it through the strainer. It's a little harder to come through, and that's, that's a good thing. So of course, you can use um, salt and pepper to your taste. 
however much you want to put in. There's no real measurement. But I think this is good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> You can do. You can plate it two different ways. You can put all of this stuff into the pot and then serve it as a pot, or you can put everything in a nice big platter. You can just leave the meat on and then pour everything in and around it. If you want to serve an individual serving, um, like I'm going to do right now, so you just take one piece. I said. Ready to tear yeah, it up? Ready. Tear right. it up. So we're just gonna take a little bit of the oxtail. Oh, look how it goes with the food. Put that on the pork. Mm. Yes, that's my happy dance. Mm. Thank you all for watching this episode of What's Kicking with Master Chief Tisdale and I for our traditional kare kare dish. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season. Happy holidays! Bye. Bye. Bye.